And so to. as we talk about the left wanting to destroy things, let's talk about you building things. Demand for blue collar jobs is on the rise. Yeah. Across the nation, your state is leading the charge to bring those skilled workers to South Dakota with a new campaign. And you're involved in a big way, Governor. Let's watch. We're inviting people from across America to get in on the action. We have more jobs than people. That's why I'm helping out. Congresswoman, governor, horse rider, and now welder governor? <laughs> <laughs> It has been a long time since I brushed off my welding <laughs> skills. Back on the farm well growing done. up, we always had to fix the equipment that we broke. So it, it took me a while to, to get uh, back up to speed. But, you know, it really, <laughs> I just want to show people that that's how fast we're growing in our state, that we are desperate for people to come fill our jobs and mm -hmm. people don't realize the opportunity that's here. We are giving people high paying jobs with full benefits and paying for a free education and licensing so they can pursue the career of their dreams. And we've had thousands of people go through the application process to move to South Dakota from that campaign. It's already been the most successful marketing campaign in the history of our state. And it really is going to be the state that has the workers will be the state that wins this economic race. And I'm determined that it's our state of South Dakota. One of the fastest growing, five fastest growing states last year. No state income tax, so you don't need to go to Nevada no. or Florida. We've been following this story, Governor, it, about your state, a proposal for a carbon capture pipeline that is running through South Dakota. Mm -hmm. Landowners afraid that their property is under threat from imminent domain mm -hmm. if the project moves forward. There's some state lawmakers are petitioning for a, a special session to address it. They're calling on you but it doesn't take you to do it. What do you say to them? Well, I'm with the landowners, always have been. I think I'm one of the governors in this country that's most defended private property mm -hmm. rights, and people certainly saw that during the pandemic. You know, the legislators don't have agreement. They're very mm -hmm. divided right now. Uh, they uh, have a proposal that they want to debate. They can call themselves into special session, right. and I've encouraged them to do that. So we had some bills during legislative session that were all defeated um, and never made it to my desk. But this is a situation where a private company is doing an investment in our state into a, a legally defined utility, and, uh, and the authority lies with the legislature at this point and the Public Utilities Commission. Well, I know the landowners and the ranchers are happy to have your support. We've had one of those ranchers on who is distraught mm -hmm. over eminent domain. So, mm -hmm. Governor Christine Ohm, always good to see you. Thanks for joining us.